Hey, I'm Jazz, and today's story is called Tadpole's Promise. It is one of my absolute favourites, and it's a story all about life and love and science and nature. Where the willow meets the water, a tadpole met a caterpillar. They gazed into each other's tiny eyes and fell in love. She was his beautiful rainbow and he was her shiny black pearl. I love everything about you, said the tadpole. And I love everything about you, said the caterpillar. Promise me you'll never change. I promise, he said, which with hindsight is probably foolish. But as sure as the weather changes, the tadpole could not keep his promise. And the next time they met, he'd grown two legs. You've broken your promise, said the caterpillar. Oh, forgive me, said the tadpole. I, I, I couldn't help it. I don't want these legs. All I want is my beautiful rainbow. OK, well, all I want is my shiny black pearl. So promise me you'll never change, said the caterpillar. I promise, said the tadpole, who'd learned nothing from his previous experience. But as sure as the seasons changed, he couldn't keep his promise. And the next time they met, he'd grown two arms. That's, that's twice you've broken your promise, cried the caterpillar. Please forgive me, said the tadpole. I do not know what is going on with my body. I don't want these legs. All I want is my beautiful rainbow. Yes, and all I want is my shiny black pearl. I will give you one last chance, said the caterpillar. I've got it, said the tadpole. But as surely as the weather changes, the tadpole could not keep his promise. And the next time they met, he had no tail. Now, a tadpole without a tail is barely a tadpole at all. So I think, you know, yeah, he, he shouldn't have kept promising. And this is not going to end well for the pair of them and their relationship. You have broken your promise three times, said the caterpillar. And now you have broken my heart. <laughs> but you are my beautiful rainbow, said the tadpole. Yes, but you are no longer my shiny black pearl, cried the caterpillar. Good and she crawled off up the cat willow tree and cried herself to sleep. Ed, my husband, says that that's him sometimes. <laughs> he's said or done something, he's no idea what it is. And I've gone off somewhere in a huff and he's laughed at the bottom of the pond going, I don't quite know what happened there. <laughs> but she's clearly upset, isn't she? The, the caterpillar. Something interesting happens next. One warm moonlit night, she woke up. The sky had changed. The trees had changed. Everything had changed, including her. Everything apart from her love for the tadpole. Even though he'd broken his promise three times, she decided to forgive him. She dried her wings. Wings? Thought she was a caterpillar. What's she doing with wings? Wings? Caterpillars don't have wings. What's happened? Something's happened. Nothing is the same. She dried her wings and fluttered down to look for him. Where the willow meets the water, a frog was sitting on a lily pad because the tadpole was turning into a frog. That's what tadpoles do. And the caterpillar cried herself to sleep because she was a bit hormonal because she was turning into a butterfly because that's what caterpillars do. So this story is going to have a happy ending after all. Excuse me, she said. Excuse me. She doesn't recognise him because she's looking for a tadpole, isn't she? A shiny black tadpole. Now we've got a green frog. Completely different species, really, to her. And also, does he recognise her? Because she didn't have wings last time he saw her. Excuse me, have you seen my shiny black? But before she could say pearl, the frog jumped up and um, gobbled her up in one great gulp. Mm -mm. Butterfly breakfast. <laughs> oh, come on, this is life. Things happen. And there he waits, even today, sat on his lily pad, thinking fondly, of his beautiful rainbow and wondering where she went. <gasps> you ate her! <laughs> I love this story. I actually read this story to a class of nursery children, three and four year olds, without reading it first. That's a mistake. 
<laughs> that I won't be repeating. <laughs> you can't sugarcoat that ending. So yeah, here's the deal. Sometimes things turn out differently to how you planned. <laughs> And in this case, yeah, okay, it's a bit of a tragedy. But also, we can experience that. We can plan for things to happen or have an idea or feel a certain way, and then things go differently. And the thing is that in those situations, what's really important is that it's okay to not be okay. It's okay not to know what to do. But you are loved, and you've got amazing resources around you, from the adults in your life and the friends you have. And those people have been put there especially for you so that when you're stuck and when you're worried and when things don't quite go to plan, you can talk to someone about it. So don't be on your own. There are people there waiting for you, ready to help you. Even if you've accidentally eaten someone that you care about. <laughs> I would definitely talk to someone about that. And, and don't eat butterflies in case they are, you know, caterpillars that you used to know. Mm -hmm.